Pino 24, and here we are, Boxhill and the Stepping Stones. Paul and I, I've been dreading this a bit, we're actually going to be going up three a century, isn't it? Box Hill, uh, Buckland Hill, and then Coley Hill, where he lives. Uh, so, <laughs> I think we can do it though. We can do it. We're doing good progress through Sorry. So, uh, here we go. Okay. Down to, oh, I can see some steps already. Lovely river way. Mole. River Mole? Mole, oh, it's a mole river, sorry, not river way. Well, we're not in Guildford anymore, sorry. It's... What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> That's a river mole down there. Mole ratty. This is the Stepping Stones footbridge, erected June 1992. There it is. So here we go, look at that. Paul was being a meanie. I said, can't we come down, sort of, okay. east to west? order. We said, no, got to do it the correct way. So, uh, we are going to do it the correct way, but at least we'll get nice views at the top of Box Hill, which I'm sure you'll see shortly. And uh, here we go. Okay, about three, probably three quarters away up, actually. Um, yeah. Absolutely shattered it's already. In the sky. Yeah, it's in the sky. <laughs> so uh, nearly there. Oh god. It's easy, really. Yeah, let's do this. Most people with me, you know, going down. Yeah. But pull up, me up. So if you look. Uh, right over in the distance, that's uh, St Barnabas Church, and there's Denby's Wine Estate underneath, where we walked last week. And now we're heading over that way. Okay, still there. Here we go. Okay, so walking through this ancient trackway. Very ancient. And more and more evidence is suggesting that the route the North Downs Way and the South Downs Way it goes all the way down to Avebury and Stonehenge, which is why we think there's such a big settlement there. It's like a termination point uh, from ancient travellers coming over from Europe when there was a landmass. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Yes, this is the uh, the gravestone to a very famous horse. Yeah. Quick. Yes. Here we go. 1936 to 1944, an English thoroughbred. Wow, that's lovely. Yeah. Not very big. No, there's no. yeah, a small horse. Might just be his bones though. That's really nice. That's really nice little. Okay, onwards we go. So here we go. Carrying on, heading down towards Betworth. Just watching our footing because it's a bit of a odd path coming down here, this little sunken path. And we don't want to trip over. This is a nice, lovely section of the walk actually. Just above Brockham and Brockham Lime Works. And there's. Hey, uh, how you doing? <laughs> you got the right spot. I forgot to say, uh, Betchworth Quarry here was also the location for the 1976 classic Doctor Who story, Genesis of the Daleks. Uh, double for Scarrow. So, yeah. Nice houses along here. Of course, here's a bit of road walking, but can't be helped. It's not very long. So we're on Pebble Hill, there's North Downs Way sign. And we go down here. The last time I passed it, this field was full of cows. They were quite docile. North Downs Way way sign. Oh, no, they're not here. There we go. No, it's got to yeah, and we're carrying on this way. And we're heading up that way. Absolutely lovely. It's letting a, a runner come through. And we're just stopping for a quick second. It's a rather glorious view. Let's pass it rather nice, so Paul's on what the hell am I doing right back here? Up to the way sign. Oh, right. Right away open to traffic. So the hell it got down here? Come down there. So last time I was walking here last year, there was a car at the bottom of the ravine, which is still there. I don't quite know how it got there, but as Paul was saying, you can actually bring vehicles down here, but 
obviously ended up a bit unfortunate for someone as it was joyriding. And oh god, here we go. Up again. So here's fun. I've tripped over a wooden post that was on the floor concealed and sprained my ankle. Ah, a little bit painful, it's going a bit better. Paul's been very man good. Up. I'm manning up. Man up. You know, actually the pain's going off a little bit now, but when I start walking. Parasite. Should I? Yeah. I don't like taking drugs where you don't need to. Um yeah, I might do actually. Thank you, Paul. Can I just say for the record, this is not an excuse to get out of the final climb up Coley Hill. Although I don't quite know how I'm going to do that at the moment, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to there. It's not that far to go. Not far. But uh, we'll see when we get there. Just round the corner. Round the corner, mate. Here we go. Okay, the injuries got a little bit better, so we're doing not too bad. So we're ready for the climb up Coley Hill in a minute. The leg seems to be better. Oh, sorry, the ankle needs to be better. Might be a bit swollen tomorrow, but pain's gone. North Downs Way, we've done it, we'll go start walking up in a minute. I think the, I think my shoe's up for it, my, my ankle. Not looking forward to this. Have a quick drink and then off we go. Paul just said to me, just up in the corner up here, is when it gets really steep. Like, what's this then? Okay. We did that in short bursts over at the top and coming out is Cody Hill down there. Here's one of the 19th century coal tax, coal tax posts. So he's run out of breath. So just scattered along the, uh, the downs and around Epsom. So we're nearly the end of this stretch uh, where Paul lives. Um, thank you for joining us. It's a rather strenuous walk from Box Hill to Coley Hill. Almost what, well, Rygate Hill really. Um, and the next leg will be Rygate Hill down to probably upstairs as I said earlier. So uh, thank you. A more sights to see. And as we finish the North Downs Way, we meet up with Laura. Hello dear. We're, a bit, we're not so broke as we thought we'd be, but I, I had an injury, but we're all right. Oh did you? Hello boys. If Paul over the spring man. I've got voicemail from Laura Mobile. Right. And here we are. Coley Hill, pretty much the end of today's walk.